let's continue discussing Sam Tatum's book, Evolutionary Ideas. The focus of this section is on strengthening trust without altering facts. Products are just products. How can you make people believe in the quality and high standard of your product? Traditional sayings like, good wine needs no bush or, time reveals true colors, have lost their significance in this era. With new brands and products emerging constantly, you must quickly gain consumer trust to capture the market. You need to do something. The assessment of trust is an instantaneous process. Research indicates that, when facing a person, a product, a website, or a company, the decision of whether to trust or not is made within 100 milliseconds. You undoubtedly employ some form of heuristic, invoking the fast-thinking processes of System 1. This means that, to a great extent, trust operates more through psychology than logical reasoning. Earning rapid trust doesn't rely on presenting facts and reasoning. It involves creating a feeling. For us primates, the simplest and quickest way to establish trust is through physical contact. Mutual grooming among chimpanzees, hugs and caresses among human family members. These are effective methods. However, you can't hug every customer. Another approach is to demonstrate your status and expertise. Studies show that as soon as a doctor puts on a stethoscope, patients are more inclined to trust their judgment. There's also an interesting phenomenon called, rhyme leads to trust. People tend to unconsciously trust a statement that, rhymes more than one that doesn't, even if they convey the same meaning. These tricks can be strategically applied. In this section, let's focus on three methods that, modern businesses commonly use to enhance trust. Signaling, social identity, and operational transparency. Previously, when discussing game theory and hidden games, we emphasized the concept of sending out signals to gain trust. The ideal signal has two characteristics. It is extravagant and costly. The peacock's large and beautiful tail, while functionally useless, extravagantly signifies good health and a lack of burden. Gazelles showcase extravagant jumps when facing predators. Poison dart frogs are highly conspicuous, not only lacking protective colors but also featuring bright red hues, making them visible. All these are signals. Humans follow a similar pattern. A bank's imposing building signifies wealth and reliability. Expensive engagement rings convey sincerity. Even high-end brands with fewer customers invest heavily in advertising to establish an image. While these are common practices, Here's a story that might be a bit unconventional but memorable. A video game called, Red Dead Redemption 2, which, within the first three days of its release in 2018, generated revenue exceeding $7.25 billion. However, this game didn't have an extensive marketing campaign before its release, so why did it become so popular immediately? It's because of a detail that, created a strong news effect. Games in the action-adventure genre, like this one, particularly focus on graphics, and Redemption 2 has exceptionally realistic physics models. To what extent? Well, even the testicles of the game's male horses are clearly visible. Moreover, when the in-game weather is cold, the horse's testicles contract. This seemingly minor detail created a buzz among players, leading to widespread media coverage. This is a powerful signal because it is costly. Putting effort into such minutiae reflects dedication, and players appreciate that, dedication in all aspects. Luxury can also be demonstrated by occasionally advising against purchasing your product. Imagine you're in a restaurant, and the waiter suggests avoiding a particular dish because it's expensive and not tasty, recommending other options instead. You would trust that waiter and, by extension, the restaurant. Another form of costly signal is when a company boldly and openly shares its beliefs and commitments, inviting everyone to supervise. There is a chain of supermarkets in Europe that provides each cashier with a badge. On the badge, you not only find the cashier's name but also the year they joined the supermarket. Why is this information useful? Because a longer tenure implies greater credibility. 
If this cashier has been working here since 2003 and hasn't been dismissed for any misconduct over all these years, you can fully trust any advice she gives you. The costliness of this signal lies in the fact that, newly arrived cashiers may be considered less reliable, but for the store, it's a cost worth paying. Now, let's discuss social identity. Social identity seeks security through numbers. If many people endorse a product, you can trust it. For instance, seeing a long line outside a restaurant with people willing to wait an hour for a seat creates a positive impression. Online stores make it even more convenient with like counts and ratings as indicators of social identity. The most straightforward expression of social identity is the notion that a product is about to sell out, creating a sense of scarcity. Tatum suggests an interesting technique. In university campuses or near apartments, you may come across personally printed ads. An A4 paper with an advertisement on top and a row of small slips below, each with a phone number and address. Interested individuals tear off a slip. The trick here is to tear off a few slips yourself before putting up the ad. When others see that someone has already shown interest, it immediately increases their curiosity. Operational transparency has become a popular means of gaining trust in the last decade. As mentioned earlier, companies like Domino's Pizza and BMW allow customers to track the real-time progress of their orders. Research suggests that the waiting process enhances consumer satisfaction. People enjoy the anticipation of good things coming their way, and the visible efforts of the business contribute to their contentment. Consider a locksmith opening a door for a woman who accidentally locked herself out. The agreed-upon price was $50, but the locksmith effortlessly opened the door in less than a minute. The woman, thinking the task was too easy, wanted to pay only $20. However, she failed to consider the locksmith's skill and the time spent honing that skill. To counter this mindset, businesses should showcase the process of their efforts, making them visible to consumers for increased appreciation and trust. Restaurants with open kitchens, where chefs prepare meals in front of customers, provide a sense of satisfaction. This is a psychological effect, indicating that, even if the work isn't particularly interesting, it's essential to find ways to showcase it. An example is Kayak.com, a travel ticket booking website. Instead of presenting all search results at once, it progressively displays the search process. We are now searching this airline, and next, we are searching that one. This visible effort creates a perception of hard work, making users more inclined to appreciate the search results. There's a juice company that directly squeezes apples and pears to make juice, packaging it in bottles as a beverage. You know, the taste of freshly squeezed juice and concentrated juice is almost the same. So, how do you prove that your product is freshly squeezed? One day, this company had a whimsical idea. They gathered some small twigs from an orchard and placed them in the juice bottles. When consumers drank the juice and found twigs in it, they questioned, what's going on? The company immediately issued a public apology through national media, saying, in our pursuit of freshness, we accidentally squeezed in twigs. The result? Their sales soared, and people saw that, they were genuinely squeezing fresh juice. Another company selling orange juice took a different approach by indicating the exact time the juice was squeezed on each bottle. Precise recording of actions, even if not entirely accurate, contributes to increased credibility. In Western farmers' markets, Locally produced goods are often more expensive than standardized products shipped from afar. To demonstrate that their carrots are local, vendors intentionally leave them unwashed, covered in mud, giving the impression of just being pulled from the ground. In an era where urbanites generally oppose food industrialization and automation, creating a sense of craftsmanship is crucial. A hamburger joint in the U.S. showcases a pile of potatoes at its entrance, emphasizing that, they make fries from scratch. Similarly, a pasta restaurant in Paris strategically places bags of flour at the entrance, emphasizing that their pasta is freshly made. A dairy company even labels each yogurt with the name of the cow that provided the milk. This reflects a genuine preference for operational transparency in modern society.
even simulated effort is effective. People enjoy witnessing manufacturers' hard work, and when genuine effort isn't visually apparent, businesses stage performances to enhance trust. A phenomenon known as the labor illusion. For instance, when calling customer service and interacting with an AI, if the call includes the sound of typing, creating the illusion that someone is diligently recording your information, it increases trust. Similarly, when withdrawing money from an ATM, if the screen displays an animation of counting money during the waiting period, it significantly boosts trust. A fascinating example involves toothpaste. Colored toothpaste with red, blue, and white stripes might claim to represent different functional aspects, like strengthening teeth, freshening breath, and promoting gum health. However, the colors have no real connection to these functions. The sole purpose of making toothpaste colorful is to present a visually appealing product. This subtly invokes the feeling that the effort to create colorful toothpaste is challenging, and people appreciate that effort. A dishcloth designed for dishwashing and a throat lozenge with a red heart in the center both feature intricate structures. These designs give the impression of additional effort, even though both are likely produced on automated assembly lines. The real effort here is psychological. In summary, this section covered three methods to enhance trust. Signaling, social identity, and operational transparency, with a focus on providing a sense of labor. While these methods seem straightforward and are likely effective from the recipient's perspective, on the supply side, they may not align with our intuitive thinking. Our common belief is that, as long as we diligently do our work, others should recognize our efforts through the product. If they fail to notice, it's their problem, not ours. However, in reality, trust needs to be actively cultivated. Modern society demands proactivity, but direct self-promotion is undesirable. You don't want to brag, and others dislike it when you do. Utilizing inherent cognitive patterns in human brains is essential. That concludes this section. In the next part, we'll discuss guiding your decisions. If you feel there is value in this, please like, subscribe to this channel, and leave your thoughts or suggestions in the comments section. Let's grow together and read more good books.